I'm excited once again to visit Dubai. We're officially restarting the series as part of our 10 facts series. Now this is a beautiful place that has become one of the hottest and trendiest destinations on the planet. Welcome back guys to FTD Facts and welcome to anyone that's watching FTD Facts for the first time. My name is Leroy Kenton and let's jump right into 10 surprising and interesting facts about Dubai. So for our first fact, Dubai is not a country like oh my god. God, if I hear somebody say that they're traveling to the country of Dubai one more time, I'm quitting YouTube. Like for real, I'm done. Wait, what? Is, is somebody typing <laughs> that Dubai is a country? Really guys? Really? You want me to quit, huh? <laughs> I see how it is. I see your comments. <laughs> Anyways, Dubai is a city in the United Arab Emirates. And as a matter of fact, you know, I'm not even gonna count this as a fact. I just needed to say it. So let's get into the actual facts of this episode. Dubai is apparently one of the fastest growing cities in the world. Back in the year 1991, Dubai just had one tall building and it was at the edge of the desert. And now there are hundreds of high rises in Dubai. Dubai is one of the seven emirates that make up the country known as United Arab Emirates or the UAE. Established in December 1971, the seven emirates Emirates of UAE are Abu Dhabi, which is the capital, Ajman, Dubai, Fujairah, Ras Al Khaimah, Sharjah, and Umm Al Quwain. Each emirate is governed by an absolute monarch, and together the monarchs make up the federal supreme court. One of the seven monarchs is selected as the president of the United Arab Emirates. Due to its location, Dubai has no natural rivers. However, Dubai does have a natural inlet. It's known as Dubai Creek, which has been dredged to make it deep enough for large vessels to pass through. Dubai Creek runs northeast to southwest through the city. Because of the heat in Dubai, as well as the high humidity, air conditioners are completely necessary, even outside. And because of this, bus stops in Dubai have air conditioning in them. Like I've said this before, like if we had temperature controlled bus stops here in Canada, man, traveling in winter would be the best thing but sometimes our bus stops don't even have bus sheds so you're just standing out there in the cold we can learn something from Dubai. Another thing to know about Dubai is that it has no address system, nor zip or postal codes, no area codes, no postal system. Or at least it's not as developed as in other cities. For a package to be sent properly, a lot of times the sender would have to leave specific directions and instructions just so that the package could get there. And of course this makes delivery challenging. So instead of like just putting your address and then your package shows up, you gotta say like, hey, I live in the second house on this street. You gotta go past the mosque. Once you get to the mosque, make a left turn, and then you'll see my house. There is a growing app though that is pretty much a state-of-the-art postal system, and the app is called Makani. So this app is used for providing official geographic address system that's used in Dubai and other places. After the global financial crisis in the year 2008, many exotic cars were actually abandoned all over the city of Dubai, as well as its airport. Now most of these cars were bought with easy credit during the boom, and the owners were just completely unable to meet the car payments after their job cutbacks because of the financial recession. So a bit of a reminder that before you spend like crazy and buy luxurious things on credit, just think about a little bit more. Build up your wealth a little bit and then buy once you can afford, guys. I love luxury, don't get me wrong, but anything can happen, especially in this market. So it's best to just set yourself up to win financially. There's also more than 3,000 taxis that are operated in Dubai, making an average of 192,000 daily trips, carrying about 385,000 passengers. All Dubai taxi services are licensed by the RTA, which is the Road and Transit Authority, and they can easily be spotted because of their cream colored bodies and their different colored roofs. One interesting thing is that the Dubai Taxi Corporation also has a ladies taxi service with pink roofs and this is just exclusively for women and they have only female drivers so I guess it makes women feel a lot more safe when they're traveling around the city. The world's highest tennis court is also in Dubai and it's on top of the Burj Al Arab. Now this tennis court sometimes serves as a helipad but when you're playing tennis up there you gotta bring some extra tennis balls because like what if the ball drops? Like I ain't going all the way down to the ground floor to go get a ball to keep playing tennis. No, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. It's not only meaning to the terms balls dropping. I'm <laughs> just saying. Okay, time to get serious again. 
but it gives you an amazing view of the city. So I guess that makes up for it. 40% of physical gold traded in 2013 actually happened in Dubai. This physical gold valued at $70 billion and it weighed a total of 2,250 tons. That's equivalent to 2,250,000 kilograms. Altogether, the weight is more than the combined weight of 354 male African elephants. There are also hundreds of mosques in Dubai and the call to prayer or the Azen can be heard throughout the city which is very convenient for Muslim visitors. Hotel rooms also have arrows pointing towards the direction of the city of Mecca just in case you aren't certain which direction it is during the time of prayer. Tourism is an important part of Dubai's government strategy to make sure that they continue to get foreign cash coming in. Based on air traffic, the MasterCard Global Destination Cities Index reports Dubai as the fourth most popular destination city for tourism. In fact, the Dubai International Airport is the third busiest airport in the world according to the latest numbers with 89.1 million passengers coming through every single year. So definitely Dubai is a real hot spot still and doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. So this was just a brief look into the city of Dubai. Dubai continues to be a leading city of luxurious living. Let me know all your thoughts and comments down below. What you think about Dubai? Have you ever visited? Are you even interested in going? Do you live there currently right now? Sound off down below. Now before I head on out of here, here's another video just for you. Just tap the annotation by my head. It'll take you to that. Also, my social media links are down below in the video description section. Follow me, shoot me a message. I love chit chatting with you over there, especially on Instagram. Also, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join the FTD Facts family. And I'll see you guys next time in another episode.